Hi, I'm Jonathan Jonas, the senior pastor of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee, welcoming you to this week's edition of The Wednesday Word. On Sunday morning, we began a new worship series called Thanksgiving. And throughout the month of November, we're acknowledging together how important gratitude is and how important our expressions of gratitude are for the grace that we've received through Jesus Christ. On Sunday, we read a story from Luke chapter 17 in which Jesus encounters some people to whom he gives a great gift, to whom he shows extraordinary, extravagant generosity, only to receive mixed responses from them. The story is in Luke chapter 17, verses 11 through 19. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was going through the region between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered a village, 10 lepers approached him. Keeping their distance, they called out saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were made clean. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. He prostrated himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus asked, Were not ten made clean? But the other nine, where are they? Was none of them found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, Get up and go on your way. Your faith has made you well. On Sunday morning in the sermon, I emphasized the grateful, faithful response of the one Samaritan. And we remember together how important it is to turn back, to give praise to God, and to thank Jesus Christ. But based on Jesus' response, it's equally important that we acknowledge the negative example of the other nine. And you heard Jesus' questions. Weren't ten healed? Where are the other nine? Could not one of them return to give thanks to God? It's almost as if Jesus is trying to drum home the point that nine times out of ten, we'll forget to be grateful will fail to express gratitude. We wonder why the other nine simply did not stop to express gratitude. And one of the things that I conjectured on Sunday morning was maybe they were in such a rush to get to the temple to be pronounced clean by the priest so that they could get back to the normal life they'd had to leave behind because of leprosy. Maybe that rush caused them simply to overlook the importance of giving thanks. But maybe they simply failed to acknowledge the extravagance of the gift that Jesus had given to them. They simply did not notice that he was the giver of the gift from which they were benefiting. And in our daily lives of faith and in our daily lives of everyday relationship, unless we're intentional, as the Pharisee is in this story, we can very easily fail to notice the generosity of the God who loves us and of the people who surround us. I wonder if perhaps those other nine simply looked at Jesus as, as if he were nothing but a miracle worker. And I wonder if without consciously thinking about it, maybe subconsciously, they simply assumed that it was Jesus' job to do what Jesus did for them. And so maybe it didn't seem important to them to express thanks for the job that he was sent here to do. <laughs> Maybe that's one of the things that keeps us from being as gracious and grateful as we ought to be. Maybe we assume that the people around us in many cases are simply doing their job and therefore it's not important for us to be people of appreciation and gratitude. So let that be a challenge to us, an intentional challenge as the Samaritan is intentional in this story so that we will not be guilty nine times out of ten of failing to be thankful. So I want to challenge us on this Wednesday to make sure that we're noticing the people around us and the ways in which they are giving of themselves, even if it's their job to bless our lives. So students, challenge yourself to express gratitude to your teachers and administrators, even if they're only doing their job for the ways in which they're investing in your life. Consumers, I want to challenge you to notice the work of the people out there in the marketplace, 
the servers, the customer, servant, uh, customer service agents, even if they're just doing their job, express your gratitude for the ways in which they're caring for you and providing for you, and, and do that for the people who are public servants. Even if they are compensated for what they do, strive this week to express appreciation and gratitude for the ways in which they invest themselves in the work which is caring for you and caring for me. I want to uh, challenge us all to remember and to notice the generosity of the people who are closest to us. It becomes very easily, it becomes very easy for us sometimes to fail to notice the generosity of our parents and the other nurturers in our lives. It becomes very easy for us to fail to acknowledge and to notice the generosity of our wives and our husbands and our life partners with all the things they do that become part of the backdrop of our lives, it's crucial that we stop to notice what they're doing lest they feel underappreciated, unnoticed. It's crucial that we do that with the people in our workplaces, the people in our friendships and relationships, to stop to notice and let them know that we are aware of what they are giving to the relationship and ultimately to us. There's great power in a simple piece of stationery like this one. With those simple two words, thank you. There's equal power in the expression verbally of those two words, thank you. To let the people around us know that they are noticed and that we appreciate the love that they express to us, the investments they make in us, even if because of the relationship or because of their role in our society, we might even assume it's their job. So let it not be said of us that nine times out of 10, we forget to notice and we forget to be appreciative, that we forget to be grateful and we forget to be humble. Let's make it our mission today that nine times out of 10, we will notice and we will say thanks. We will be people who are grateful for the love of God and for the love of people who live in this world around us. Well, I hope that's your experience today. Thanks for joining me for this edition of the Wednesday Word. I'll see you on Sunday morning, and I hope to see you next week too. Bye.